Hello everybody, Model Farmer 6710 back here again in the studio. Today we're going to be doing a different video and I'm going to let Stephen explain that. So this is a, a video that you, you've never seen before. We thought hard on this video and basically we have two boxes in front of us here. Um, um, basically Daniel got a model. I don't know what he got. Uh, I got a model. He doesn't know what I got either. So I put this on the Instagram saying what model is it. Everyone gets forward, everything, not one person got it right, so, and I'm very surprised. So, um, hopefully this will be a good, interesting video to watch. And, yeah, as you see, there are two different boxes, but there, there's only one model we got, so, uh, what well, I think. But, uh, so, no further ado, I think we'll get into it. So, will we both open them at the same time, or will you go first? Yeah, sure, we'll open them anyway and then we'll just uh, yeah, unbox yeah. the actual model in the internet yeah okay so let's get into it just be careful when you're uh, using uh, scissors or knives always make sure you're cutting away from yourself uh, as you could hurt yourself I have mine, I'll wait for Daniel. And I have mine. So. We both have our covers, so. We both. <laughs> right, we're very excited now, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll just. So, straight off the bat, you could probably see the logo there. You can tell that it's a Ford. Sure, we'll get rid of the packaging and then we'll come back to you with the actual model. There you go. Right, as you can tell, we both got very different models. Yeah, uh, different. Spin yours around there. Well, you got a... 140.90. A Fiat Agri 140.90. That's very nice now. Wide wheels, straight pipe and everything. Courtesy of Hill, Far Hill Conversions. Uh, Richard O'Sullivan, so check him out on Instagram. He does very good stuff, and um, definitely interesting stuff to, um, from from him. So and I got this model off um, Mike O'Malley. He's on Facebook. Very nice to deal with now. Uh, for reason you probably don't understand why I got this model, but my dad has the uh, he doesn't have the same model as this one. He has the bigger one, but. Um, uh, I just could never get them anywhere and I was scrolling on uh, the Facebook group Model Mad and I seen it and I just said I get it. But yeah, thanks very much uh, Mike anyway. So my reason behind this one is I have loads and loads of comments saying you should get a feed, get a feed one time, get 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 this feed, get that feed. And basically Hill Hill Conversions, I seen this up and uh he said would you be interested in it and I I wasn't really interested in a 11090 because a lot of people have them and they're kind of, I don't know, they don't really, um, I don't really take a lot of, they won't really, uh, I won't, they won't catch the eye of me, but this here, a very, very nice looking tractor, um, very big as well, kind of unusual, um, haven't seen anyone else that has this and I'm not sure if it is a, a, a new model or not, but it has modified tires and a straight pipe um, I think I believe the tires are from a T6 and um, I think the door is open as well so I think we'll pause the video now and we'll get them out of the box yeah okay so this is the feed you'd probably think she's some yoke very reeky of course with the straight pipe and um, obviously it's on big boots um, T6 tires as I said and um, yeah Richard done a fine job on it from Hill Conversions there. Has a straight pipe as well and the mountable like the TM, it's by Record Agri, by like the TM you're able to slide in front weight and a front linkage. So I hope the Fiat fans are now happy. I've got a Fiat now. Um and she's probably my favourite Fiat um of of them of them all. So also the uh, doors open. Uh, if I could get them open. 
There you go. Opens very widely like that. The, this one here opens as well. So. There you go. Very l lots of wonders of detail in the inside inside of the cab there as well. Obviously, feed agri on the back. Linkage is very detailed as well. Um, but yeah, the, the, what attracted me was the big white tires. Um, you can really say beforehand they couldn't pencil. I mean, pizza cutters on it, but that's that's everyone's opinion. But uh, yeah, they're very nice tires and straight pipe goes along very well with it so comment down below you probably feed fans are probably overwhelmed now but yeah well i think that's it um we'll show daniel's model now so this is my van uh i got the van because obviously my dad has one but then um, uh you can't really get them much places but uh box is really nice uh and then the van is nice itself. Uh, it has uh, a Galway reg on it, and it has John Deere on the back there. It's a John Deere uh, van, the workshop van, uh, and then we have John Deere on the side, of course. And then these doors open, so uh, it's a left-hand drive, not the right-hand, but. Yeah, the two doors open. The back doors don't open, but it's grand. Uh, it's a very nice model. Um, I just wanted one for a while, and obviously Stephen has the workshop here, so it'll go really well with uh, any scenes, really. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of it. So, uh, with my van here, we can see that uh, it kind of just blends into the scene, and it kind of just makes it... Uh, Rather than all tractors on the road, um, and jeeps, uh, it just kind of adds a bit of character. You can just see that it stopped at the junction there, ready to come out as there's a fent there, uh, just coming out. So yeah, it just kind of blends in and makes it nice. As you can see here, the van is in the dealership. Uh, it's in a New Holland dealership and Ford, but. Uh, has the John Deere stickers now, but um, it, it does look nice there. Uh, we have a man hopping out with the door open and kind of just adds a bit of character because most dealerships have some f sort of uh, van. So, you know, it kind of adds to it and that's why I'd recommend that model. Anyway, I'll show you some more scenes. And uh, here we have the uh, Ford just overtaking this vent here. So uh, it looks nice on the road. Oh, uh, here we have the uh, transit going over the hill here, so you can see there's a bit of work going on in the background, so yeah. Uh, I actually have plans with this model. Uh, I'm going to be looking at putting a bull bar on it and uh, maybe a beacon bar on the top and an aerial. Uh, I also am going to be putting stickers of my uh, dad's van. Uh, he has a business and... Uh, once I get them, I'll show you to them. Uh, I'll show you them. So yeah, that's my plans with this model. And yeah. Okay, so here's the one forty ninety uh, feet agri on the Abbey here. Very nice setup. Has the front weights and all on her. Um, it's a it's a very big tractor. She'd be well able for the Abbey. And um, I'm not sure if she'd be going on PJ farm. You're probably wondering. But uh, let me know in the comments, and we'll have her seen to the role play series on the on the farm. Um I believe the one eighty ninety has a higher exhaust uh, pipe going up and it's connected to the exhaust. But um really I think the straight pipe and the uh, wide tires make this tractor probably my favourite feed other than the one ten but this is probably my favourite feed model but um let me know in the comments what you think of this tractor. Also show the the back here um good bit of detail as well from Rep Agri. So yeah we'll have a couple of scenes with these with this going on. So here we have a, a lovely scene and uh, double bale lifter on the back. A few straw bales very very looks nice. And uh yeah that's a 
beast of a tractor so it is I'm sure you would agree so not much not a whole lot else to add to it it'd be probably a good tractor if maybe for a mower and stuff like that but it's be kind of like an all around or all around tractor other than like the 8870 I have where it's kind of only suited for like a plow or a drill small like big stuff like that so it's like a 140 horsepower tractor you want able for anything So here we have the 149 pull along the road uh, with a Kane Classic, very era correct, probably at the same time the trailer and tractor, I'd say the feed be about the 90s or 80s and the same with the Kane Classic maybe, but uh, yeah, um, we're going to do the outro now, I think I've seen, you've probably seen enough of her, um, but yeah, I'm very happy with this model now, um, and uh, hope to please all the Fiat fans, since it's been so so asked so many times. So yeah, we'll leave you with a few pictures and the outro as well. So so that brings us to the end of the video. End of the video. So uh, I'd say you're probably um, very surprised with the two models we both got. Um, surprise or not I don't, I'm not sure but uh, let us know down in the comments anyway what you think of the models we have for buying um, and also like to shout out to um, Richard O'Sullivan from Hill Fire Models please check him out on Instagram uh, he does some tr um, very good st very good um, conversions to the lots of models um, he make any bad looking model go into a very nice tidy looking model so um, please check him out if you're on Instagram and then Daniel has a few words to say as well uh, thanks very much for Mike O'Malley. He's on Facebook. If you look up Mike O'Malley, uh, he sells uh, 132 scale models, and yeah, I'd highly recommend him. But uh, I have a couple of words to say um, relating to these models. Uh, me and Stephen bought these models locally to Ireland. Uh, we saved up our money and we got them locally because in these times. Uh, uh, especially COVID, uh, businesses are be struggling uh, to keep alive. But um, instead of buying from the UK or where, wherever you buy from, uh, even if you're in the UK, try spend your uh, the money you want on your models uh, in your country because there's businesses that are be struggling. And if you can get the uh, model in your own country, that would be great because helping out everyone in Ireland and the money staying in your country. So, yeah, that, I'd highly recommend uh, shop locally anyway. So, hope everyone enjoyed. A very different video, as I said at the start. And uh, we might be doing something like this in the future, but not anytime soon because uh, we spend a bit of money. But, um, yeah, hopefully do something like this, maybe a live stream or something, uh, to give it a twist, you know, something like that. So, uh, we're going to leave you with a few pictures of our models. Um, so let us know in the comments as I said about what you think and we'll see you again in the next video and uh, please like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed and um, see you again soon, bye for now, thanks for watching.